It's picked in one of the regions, maybe South America, Spear in that case, or, yes. or across in North America in this case. Uh, it gets played for a few months, gets nerfed, and then Europe goes, you know what, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and, then, and then they pick it, and it's like, wait a second, we're already past this, right? Cross has like, gotten nerfed three to four times, and now we have three of the top six teams using it as a staple pick here as if it's 2022. And you know what, he, the character's still good. He still has those things going for him. He's just not quite as powerful in the sense like the neutral sig doesn't knock out nearly as early. The gauntlet nair now has a different angle of knockback to make a lot of the things that were being abused by gauntlets a little less easy to do. Um, character's still really fantastic. And Pavelski yeah. is always done really great on gauntlets and blasters, so the pick makes a lot of sense even after all of the nerfs. I mean, even looking at what I'm seeing on my screen right now, the red team was having a really good time controlling the stage there, but it looks like are actually going to be the ones to lose a stock first, as Heisen and Simple are trying to extend this lead a little bit further, but I do like the play I'm seeing from this Bryn, and as I say that, immediately gets hit by gauntlet side air, and then weapon thrown, and then loss of stock occurs. Yeah, Simple and Heisen, that six stock to four lead off of that, let's see how much they can get back off of that. XJ Cool J with the axe side air. Uh, batting Heisen away, but Simple getting some extra damage onto Pavelski, and they can't take down these stocks here. Axe down are not doing it, but the Gauntlet ground pound will. Axe recovery on the way back up, and it's a dead even game after that. Nice job cleaning that up, because Simple and Heisen were not making it easy for them. Oh man, and already this one's looking like it's going to be quite a fun one as oh. Heisen manages to pick up a rocket lance and we did see a pretty big string coming out from oh. XJ Cool J but did not lead to a stock loss. XJ's been fantastic on the axe here against Tyson. There was a little dropped team combo there where he wanted to go for Sidelight Nair, I think it was, and he hit Sidelight's Neutral Light instead. Pavelski ends up getting Sidelight stared off the side of the stage, and now XJ, stuck in that 2v1, does get out of harm's way, and Neutral sticks simple away so that Pavelski get back on stage, make sure he's got a weapon in that falling cider, almost alley-oops into XJ Cool J. There's so many follow-ups that XJ's doing where I'm like, oh, if only you jumped, that would have mm. been perfect. But uh, nice cider there Jeez. anyways. Oh, Pavelski's okay. going. Nice. He's, he's going for the highlight reel there. Doesn't I think he? I think he turned around, so the chase dodge didn't activate. But I wasn't sure if he had chase dodged already. That was a, that was an interesting situation. He yeah. only ended up doing a regular dodge up and didn't make it to the stage. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh, maybe I thought we were going to see a chase dodge up there, but okay. It never works. It really <laughs> doesn't. Like, it actually like, does not. Like, like, like I. Wow, I can't. I was like, I looked at that. I was like, wow. Not only did it hit, it like went through. Because sometimes when you gravity cancel cross downsig like that, mm -hmm. like it just drops, and then you're like, why did I use this move at all? So I'm like, that, no. it hit, and he got the knockout. Wow. Yeah, and, rare footage. Honestly. And he and he cleans up with the neutral sig. Okay, they're 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 keeping it close. Simple and Heisen, however, have been in the lead the whole time. They're always taking the stocks first. Yeah, they're making this go uh, as close as it can possibly be thus far. I mean, the stock count looks pretty even. Heisen, the least damage taken, and they're trying to get something started. A double side light there. That's good value for your buck there. Blue team looking pretty good right now. Yeah, Simple struggling to get in with these gauntlets. I'm wondering if he's going to toss them away to go for the uh, the sword here. Pavelski goes for a super risky slide charge down stick. It actually gets out uh, unscathed. Actually, Cool J, nice, nice job with that. Gravity cancel neutral stick tries to double dip, doesn't get the second hit. Um, oh. And now it's anyone's game here. That down stick comes through, and a lot of play, uh, a lot of players on the screen are just hit away from getting knocked out. Oh, Val, neutral stick. Sometimes it's, oh. it's so sad when it hits, but there he goes. Pavelski goes down first. XJ dodges one weapon throw, but simple so good at these corner guards that he just fast falls off to the side knowing he doesn't have the jumps to, back, to, to make it back. And that's a, uh, a high and simple victory where the, the, the stocks and damage were close at the end, but I never once felt like they had given up momentum to where they weren't going to take the stocks first. Like I, the whole time I was like, yeah, okay, you're cleaning it up. You're bringing it back to even. But is it really, though? That, that's the, the feel that I got in that game. Tough thing about that game is, too, is, like, the reason that people, you know, picked Cross so much, aside from the fact that, like, the combination of weapons was so great for team combinations, is that Cross, before the nurse, was, like, undisputed. I don't know who the, the strongest legend in the game now is signature-wise, but I know that Gauntlet Neutral Sig for a long time was, like, uncontested. Oh, yeah, that was the finisher. The finisher, yeah. right? You'd hit someone in, like, yellow with that, and be boom, they were gone. And because of how the charge worked, you charge to, as part of your spacing, right? Like, yes. you, you, you held it, and you were kind of like, okay, where do I need to no go based off of the knockback of this attack? And that's what was so great about it. So that that getting hit really got rid of a lot of the follow-ups that you would go with the character. Uh, and so... And even even with that in mind, right? We can't even, we can't even exactly say that we saw a team combo right. where that changed. 
because they weren't even getting far enough for Pavelski to start putting out those neutral signatures or those side signatures. We saw a lot of those slide charge blasters down SIGs from yes. the platforms, which were very cool and very creative and very, very risky. And he happened to not lose his stock off of it, but nothing nothing of the team combo sort. And I think a lot of that came from XJ Cool J just straight up dropping a lot of his follow ups after Axe Sidelight. Like they would set up, Pavelski would hit the blasters, dare. He would get the side light and then he would neutralize. He wouldn't jump. A lot of those jumps were coming through. So maybe if they tighten that up this game number two, they'll be able to bring it to a, a tight set. And I actually do like that you mentioned that because Pavelski really hasn't been using the gauntlets all that much. It's been oh, blasters yeah. pretty much almost exclusively. There might be like a moment here or two, might throw out two attacks and then immediately back to the blasters. And we're going to see a potential edge guard here on the left side. Can't even make it all the way around. So maybe an ill advised play right there, but a dropped opportunity. Pavelski still trying to follow up off of these hits and maybe a pogo might be enough. Oh, no. Oh, oh Isaac, no. Isaac gets out of a lot of situations where I was like, you should be a goner here. Like, I was like, okay, oh. he managed to make it through, and he made it through, <laughs> and is he going to get the stock off of that? Because that would be huge, because wow. I actually caught up with the gravity cancel sidelight. Pavelski didn't get the, the Blasters recovery follow-up, and Heisen turned it into two knockouts, Flambo. That was that, that was three times where I was like, Heisen, how did you make it back? And then he made it into two knockouts, and they take the lead. That's crazy. Being a Pavelski fan is tough, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he almost does the hottest thing you'll see all year, yeah. but like in twos especially, like, he just gets punished so hard for Oh, it. look at that! It, it would be speaking of the devil, right? Okay, <laughs> he almost, almost goes down there. Dipping down so low that Simple hits him with a wake up ground pound on Sword, and XJ has to come in for the save. Doesn't get the Nair after that gravity cancel down signature, but I mean, despite as much as we were criticizing the very opening of this, they have brought it back to even here. And in fact, this is the best chance they have to take a lead in the set as they hit that unarmed recovery on the Simple. He tries to go for the double uh, and doesn't hit it, but he's very oh my gosh. right now. Yeah, Pavelski just letting these down six fly. Haven't been connecting so much in this game, but I mean, still instilling fear. Oh, that was a that's, sick that's side the, light. It's the sick side light, but that's the cross side sick. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, that, true. that's the thing. That's where I'm like, you, the, it does the exact same thing, but it knocks out. And so I'm wondering if he was thinking that. I think it was a speed thing, maybe. You had to be like, because I mean, the side light comes out real fast. It does. It's about. About to say. <laughs> I, 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 see, I see what you're saying, though, in the sense that the range that it hits and how fast it comes out. I think just in terms of reaction time, yeah. I think it was just yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, either way, uh, here or there, they're ahead, four stocks to two. They have taken nice. the lead for the first time this set. Heisen's cleaning up the best way that he knows how with the axe side airs, and he's so good. The down tick almost catches the landing. It's simple. Gets the uh, the punish with the landing there, right? Uh, Actually trying to find that dare on the Heisen and Simple's like, I'll hit my teammate with the D-Light Sider, I don't care, it gets rid of that stock and they go right back to, to even. Oh man, you can see Pavelski still on these blasters, I can't wait to look at the stats. I'm like, I, I feel like oh. he may have actually done zero damage with the gauntlets this game. Oh. I think he hit him there. Okay. I, I think it's, it's close. It, it might be that unarmed is higher though. <laughs> you know, I, it's definitely like he's picked cross with the blasters and the stats set here. Oh, Daylight Sider though disarms him. XJ goes out for oh, the save, but Pavelski tries to get the team combo, and because he put so much effort into that, he wasn't ready for Heisen's ground pound, but XJ evens things up in the 1v2, brings it to a 1v1. Heisen fighting unarmed, picks up the lance, and puts up these oh. nair, sidelight nair recovery? No! Goes for the double nair there on the dodge down. XJ Cool J with the Daylight recovery gets the comeback and secures the victory. Victory. What an amazing 1v2 coming out from XJ Cool J there. Uh, Pavelski fans might have to become XJ fans at this point, Slambo. I mean, he's, play he's playing fantastic. No, I mean, I love some of the axe plays we've seen from. Look at that. Pavelski literally is so Pavelski brained that he, lo he lost the stock trying to stare from that position. He's like, you know what? I could make it back to the stage or. <laughs> would have been sick if it hit, though. Would have been really cool. <laughs> Maybe would have gotten a chase dodge or something, you know? And then we get this D-Light recovery here so well uh, well placed. Th making the decision, but the distinction between going for the D-Light side or the recovery there on Spear is, uh, is a huge part of playing the weapon. Three, and XJ is fantastic yeah. at it. And now we're uh, tied set. Okay, so this one, this one's looking good here as Heisen and Simple are keeping things even Stevens with XJ, Cool J, and Pavelski. Want to pop and looking to see who's going to pull ahead game three, often the most important in game five sets just because of kind of the tone that it sets for the rest of the set from that point forward. And we're seeing arguably uh, a pretty harsh start for the blue team. I mean, yeah. Heisen's taken so much damage. Yeah, he took a lot of damage in the previous game too. Um, 
Nice. Well, he's, oh, okay, well, that's a great edge card there. Because uh, what I was about to talk about was that Heisen does a pretty decent oh. job holding on to the stock in those situations. Nice. Pavelski with the ground pound dunk, the down air from XJ afterwards to follow up on the simple. Pavelski <gasps> now switches over to Heisen. That would be a much better stock to take at this juncture, but Heisen makes it back, saves his teammate in the process, and they're back to this neutral exchange. Pavelski, however, Heard what you said about the gauntlets, and has probably quadrupled his damage yeah. in the entire set in just that last minute. Oh, and the unarmed Sayer is enough from Heisen to go ahead and secure that stock, and the blue team has a bit of a lead here, but I wonder for how much longer Very Heisen deceptive. has taken a decent amount of damage. And of course, I mean, Simple, I imagine, can only hang on for just a little while longer, especially with the way that XJ Cold has been able to find these hits. I mean, get a little assist from Pavelski there, but mm -hmm. it's looking rough. Oh, team combo opportunity, nice. That, that was a really scrappy team combo that they made work. Uh, the, the stacking the neutral light on the spear neutral light with the blasters, uh, and then getting that neutral stick right afterwards because he was locked in place was a fantastic adaptation. Uh, could knock him out if they were able to get that again. Yeah, I, I like the fact that the neutral stick was the option there. It didn't KO, but had a down light been the option, I think it would have been know, interrupted. Down, down light may have gone too high. I don't, I don't really know. I, like, it was a it's weird like a position. It's like a magnet, though. I don't know. True. true. It's, that is true. Oh, but the recovery comes through. Okay, they trade one stock from one. Pavelski goes down. Heisen goes down right afterwards. This is as close as it gets. They, th this match is incredibly close. The whole set has been uh, Pavelski fighting simple off stage right now, trying to get that stock. And oh, he neutralizes the other way. Would have been huge. Oh. Okay, team comp opportunity. Whoa. No, Pavelski interrupts. The simple Jeez. interrupts that. There's just a bunch of players hitting each other for getting their hits on their teammates. And so far, no one's gone down for it. XJ could be the first, but Pavelski flies into safety. Oh, man. And we still haven't really seen team combos at all. I mean, Blast is great at it. Instead, we've just seen lots of aggression from Pavelski. Oh, Probably going to stay here. Whoa. And just an SD coming out from Simple. Recovers Red Team's going to love wrong that. way. <laughs> yeah. That was, right? Hold it. Probably trying to get that fast fall to reposition. Holds it a little bit too long. He makes up for it. XJ goes down. Pavelski now at risk here, fighting against Simple's fresh stock. And it's Heisen who has to play very carefully. Uh, to make oh. this easily, and actually Cool just hits it with the Haymaker. I mean, what a fantastic read. Just throws it out there, yeah. Unable to hang on, and now Simple left in the 2v1, biding some time on the side, getting a pot shot in with that down air. Doesn't want to get caught in the middle. We know what happens when they get caught in the middle. We've seen enough crosses and Brins do team combos to know what happens if Simple ends up in the middle. Oh, and we saw, almost saw it happen there. That is a classic setup. Gauntlet neutral light. The spear player goes through, hits the side light, and the Pavelski would have caught him with the gauntlet in there, but the uh -oh. air was just misspaced, so they're getting these two-piece team combos instead, <gasps> but they're working out. All right, no dodge. Comes down with the down air. Should have a dodge back by now, but just unarmed down airs into the KO zone there. Yeah. Says, I'm done. I don't want to do it. Save I mean, the after, after the fifth combo, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting out of these, but I'm not getting anything for it. Uh, and he goes next because... Much to my surprise, Pavelski and SJ Cool J are bringing this to match points. It's 2-1 in their favor. One more uh, victory here, and they're in top four, uh, knocking out one of the teams who I was very confident would be getting into that top four spot. Heisen and Simple are uh, making an adaptation here. I think that's the double valve that is being brought up after that game, because Heisen, with that 323 damage dealt and 621 damage taken, he's really a damage sponge that's not providing a lot more for all the damage that he's taking. Yeah, you know, you know you're taking a lot of damage, you're hanging on, but does it really matter if you're not providing much? I mean, it, you know, it's I could see how the argument can go both ways, but I'd say in the context of this match, you, you got to get more hits in. Yeah. And the double vowel seems to be what he's looking for here. Sword and gauntlets on both sides. The the oh. the, the trade off that you get for running a double team comp, like like when when you think about cross, you're like, oh, if cross is so good, why don't you just do cross and cross? Well, it's because when you have two of the same weapons, there's so many more opportunities for your opponent to DI that it limits the team combos that you can do. I, I, like, you, you have to make sure that you're, one person's on, on, on blasters, the other person's on gauntlets, or in this case, one person's on sword, and the other person's on gauntlets. Otherwise, you're just like, well, once I use a side air, you can't stare anymore during that team comp. Yeah, right, like it's like, okay, you gotta figure out a new way to convert because mm -hmm. otherwise, you know, you can't use the same option twice really there. And so trying to figure out a way around that as, I mean, Pavelski and XJ, Cool J are kind of soaring into the lead here. We already have a lot of damage on Heisen's second stock. Simple will soon follow in pain, but Simple manages to find a ground pound and an air. That should be double. Yep, just ground pound again. Weapon throw is gonna come around the side. Grab cancel D-Light, he misses oh. it and gets chopped by his teammate. 
I think I it's kind of worth. I don't know. That's a tough one. That is a tough call because I think Simple was doing a great job in the edge guard there, and then Heisen was covering something with the side sig, and he just ends up clipping his teammate. We'll see if that pays off because that did just neutralize everyone's lead there. Uh, and Heisen's now taking the brunt of the damage afterwards. Oh. Pavelski with the weapon throw pick up Sare. That was fantastic. Gets the knockout there on the edge guard, and those are the highlights that we've been waiting for to happen, and now Pavelski's really online, and this is the game where it matters the most, Lambo. Yeah, no, I... Pavelski and Boomy, I'd argue, are the two greediest players in Brawlhalla. <laughs> and so they'll just go for these plays that no one else goes for because they just don't seem like good ideas to, like, that average player. But they know... He used every resource to jump out right? there and get that gauntlet. Yeah, <laughs> like, he was like, if I if I don't pick up the weapon here, I might just lose the stock. And he's going for it again with the weapon throw to Simple. Oh and Simple gosh. gets the stock recovery. And Pavelski getting two quick stocks on both Heisen and Simple has really been uh, carrying his weight in this game. Because the last game, I mean, actually, Cool J was, like, 200 to 300 damage above Pavelski. It was clear that he was doing a ton. Uh, and now look at that huge punish that Pavelski oh my gets. God, the daylight grab out. He's, he's gone. That's a so zero to knockout. And, wow. and Heisen just jo joins him right afterwards. That was all Pavelski that game, Flambo. Incredible. God, cut up. Man, Pavelski you know, was cooked. And so game. in that last replay, when we get to it, that entire stock happened up after Pavelski, so we didn't see it there, but that D-Light was because he waited out Simple hitting his teammate, and that entire combo came off of the punish from Simple committing to hitting his teammate in that situation with Pavelski.